Hi, this is Barry J. McDonald, and I'd like to welcome you to today's blog post over at writecom.com. And today we're going to have a look at how to make money selling articles. Now, even if you've never uh, written an article before, um, this is still something you'll be able to actually start today and can make money from. So let's start off with the main thing you're going to have to work on first. So if you're going to create uh, and make money from articles, you're going to need to pick a main topic. So whether that main topic is uh, an item that's evergreen, like topics like weight loss and pets and you know family relationships and things like that that aren't going to change in 10 years from now, the articles that you write today will still be relevant you know, in a couple of years from now and you can still be able to sell those packages over and over again. Or if you wanted to go maybe for a popular topic, like maybe something like maybe this being uh, popular at the, at the moment, like kind of trends like fidget spinners and, you know, things like that, hoverboards boards and things like that. You know, you could write a package of articles for those topics, but just be aware that, you know, these topics might be relevant maybe in six months from now and it could be kind of, you know, um, popular today and those articles might be no use in, you know, a couple of months from now. So pay attention to what you want to pick on your main topic and whether you want to go for an evergreen uh, topic or whether you want to go for something that's trending at the moment. So then once you have an idea of what you're going to write your articles about, uh, you're going to need some article ideas. Now, if you know something about the topic you're going to write on, say maybe you're, you've already written um, content before on articles on uh, weight loss and stuff like that, you know, you could reuse that knowledge that you have to come up with ideas for article topics. But for those people maybe who've never written articles before and are wondering what people are searching for and what they could actually write about, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas for coming up with article ideas. One of the ones would be go to Amazon.com and do a search for uh, books in your niche and um, simply go for the most popular one that's selling the, the best sellers um, and then just use the, the look inside feature. If you click it open, Amazon will actually let you look at the first couple of pages without actually buying or downloading the book. So you can check out the table of contents and see what the author's writing about. And if the author actually thinks that these topics are important to put on their book, you know, there are topics that maybe your articles should be based on too. So grab a pen and paper and write down the, the chapters in a couple of books in that niche and it'll give you a couple of ideas for your article titles. Another one then is to go to a website called uh, askthepublic.com and just type in your main keyword. So if you were searching maybe dog training or whether it was a family relationship thing or whatever your main keyword is, put that keyword in then and just click the search button and the website will give you all different searches of what people are actually typing into the search engines. So if people are actually looking for those um, topics, maybe you should base your article on one of those topics and write it. Another one then is to go to forums, um, popular forums in your niche, just put in the main keyword. So if you were doing maybe a dog training, um, kind of style articles, would you just type in dog training and then just put the, the keyword forum then after it in the search and then just look for the most popular um, forums with well, you know, a lot of activity in them and then once you're there just look for the most popular topics that are trending at the moment or even just the most popular topics that have been there since the forum opened. Um, you know, there's a reason that they're popular, maybe people you know need more information on that topic. So then just go into that popular topic then and use that uh, topic as um, an article title. Another one then you could use is to go to yahooanswers.com. Although it's an old uh, website, you know, you will still find um, people are still using it and still asking questions and people are posting answers to it. So have a look and see what uh, questions are being posted at the website. Now, bear in mind now that sometimes the content, the answers you can't actually depend on. Sometimes the people are just giving information and maybe they don't know what they're actually speaking about. So rather than actually using the answers for content for your um, articles, I recommend you should just use the question and again research the article yourself and put in the the right content to go with that uh, answer and then use that then as an article topic or even go to one of the popular blogs again using the keywords whatever your main keyword is and then blog afterward uh, search for popular blogs in your niche and then again look at popular blog posts you know there's reasons why those some of those blog posts are more popular than others so have a look and see and read some of the comments and things like that it might give you more ideas of article titles that you can use so then once you've done that then you know how are you going to write an article if you've never written an article before you're probably wondering well what how could i do it and there's various ways but the, at the end of the day it depends on yourself or where you're comfortable writing articles you know you could use the article title as a question and use the remainder of the article as the answer to that question or you could do it even like the blog post i've just posted here on, on writecom.com just basically just put the article title down and then break down the um your article into different steps that the person would actually have to go through to 
you know, to sort out that um, problem that they might have. And then you're probably wondering then, right, um, how can I sell my articles? But before we actually get that topic, I just want to let you know that you're not actually going to be selling your articles one at a time. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to bundle them together, maybe into packages of maybe 10, maybe 20, or however many you want to put together and charge the relevant price then. Or even in some cases, if you wanted to actually just create a couple of articles and then maybe create maybe a short report that would actually go with those articles. So somebody could actually use that articles and use a little um, short report maybe to use as a, to build a mailing list or actually maybe sell to their own list or sell to the customers. So I recommend you actually just create a, a bundle of articles first before you actually go try and sell them it anywhere. So the different suggestions you could actually place, you could actually sell your articles, maybe is to create your own website or your own blog and sell the packages there to whoever's coming to your um to your blog or your art your your website another one then maybe is to go to the websites that you've um you've been searching the blog posts you know the blog uh blogs you've been checking out and see maybe if they'd be interested in buying content for their blog so maybe they might actually buy some articles off you or then one of the most popular ways to do it is to go to the warrior forum marketplace or jvzoo and check out the private label right uh packages that have been sold there now you'll be able to search and see what um, topics were actually popular and which is actually sold uh, you know, in good numbers. So then simply just copy the, that idea then and just create your own package of unique, unique articles and offer them for sale there. So again too, it'll give you an idea by going to those websites to see what uh, not only what are popular topics but just the kind of price ranges and kind of how much money you would actually make from selling that package in those websites. And again, then to once you've set it all up and then you've sold your package, then just a simple idea of just rinse and repeat, just look up uh, another main topic or just do a kind of break off a uh, bunch of articles from the first one you have done. And again, just go through the whole process again and then sell them again. So that's how easy it is actually to write articles and to sell them and make money from them. So I hope you've enjoyed this blog post today. My name's uh, Barry J. McDonald, and this was today's blog post over at writecom.com. Now I recommend you should drop by because we have a great report which we're giving away free which is going to show you 10 ways you can make money from writing uh, and one of the most popular topics is actually how to um, make money from writing without actually writing a single word so I'm sure you'd be curious to find out how you can do that so if you want to come over to writecom.com you can pick the free, the free report up there so take care have a good day bye bye